hi welcome back to my channel so i want to do a video today my hair is so bad it's just so bad wow can i be asked I might edit this and make a joke out of my uncomfortable days but on my uncomfortable days I feel more productive and able to lean into my flaws and also my desires because I heard this thing this morning about using your imposter syndrome for good okay and for functionality because the thing is as much as imposter syndrome is bad and I went a long period of time fighting my imposter syndrome and thought I'm not a fugly you know invisible person I have a nice hair I'm a human being I'm a female I'm relatively good looking I'm as good looking as I want to be obviously if I can like put time and effort into myself I'm gonna look beautiful just like anyone else would you know and obviously you fight the imposter syndrome of oh I'm just like a very like I'm like a meat suit like that's got hair and mate and like I just like try and look nice but I'm really disgusting like you know like you have to work on the imposter syndrome you know, sometimes but also you know I do want to talk about leaning in to your desires and wants when the world often doesn't care for that I'm also just quickly checking yeah I don't know so yeah to lean into what your desires are because based on this I do write down notes on my phone when I feel the need to actually make notes when I think of an idea to do um and I thought also just incorporating the idea of when you've like come really far from like a place like usually that's just with age and it's not always about progress in life it can be progress in life but it can also be like development of age and therefore progress in life because you're just naturally going to get more knowledgeable as life carries on and it's nice sometimes to just reframe your younger years because I think just this updating of like life can actually bring this sort of um integration of uh, what's the word gratitude towards life because naturally like you have like programming from one t period of time where like you can think this th for example when you're younger in your early 20s or late teens or whatever you can think what makes me happy going out makes me happy my boyfriend going makes me happy spending money makes me happy and also buying nice clothes that are cheap makes me happy right skip forward a few years those things might still be enjoyable but also taking candle baths makes me happy having enough food to eat makes me happy having a lion in the morning makes me happy you know slightly different things i feel like make you happy and it's not to say life gets like any more shit because actually i think it actually gets more fun and that sounds like such a fucking old person thing to say <laughs> but also like you know to update what you what you enjoy and also to to respect the person whose whose desire it was to to go out every night is, is a great thing because you can be proud of your younger self but also keep up to date with your physiology and with actually your desire to does anyone sorry just to just to quickly go off topic does anyone love a these brushes that like have the springs but also to brush your hair when it's ridiculously disgustingly greasy like because i was like oh i really should like be cleaner and make have make more time for showers which is true but i'm not being funny i put all this oil in it and all these hair products the other day and sometimes i used to just think oh some days i just love it to get super greasy because i think it's when people have fine hair like i was like oh it's kind of gross when you get older to just like have greasy like greasy hair like it's pretty like outrageously greasy at the moment but i'm not being funny i went through phases of just washing it with coconut oil and um and apple cider vinegar every now and again as in like <laughs> not every now and again but like with those things and i can't remember what ingredients exactly i did i think it was apple cider vinegar and and coconut oil and it's never it was never softer you know and then i was like i moved back to shampoo just because like it was more effective like 
at like keeping my hair like oiled and, and the pH right and stuff, I don't know. But um but to have super greasy hair is just super satisfying from time to time, you know, and does anyone like to brush their hair out? I was trying to say. <laughs> They've got super greasy hair. <laughs> I'm just gonna show it back. There's nothing more satisfying as a female, I think, than to have a head of because I'm not being funny, your natural oils are the thing that actually heals your hair the very most. There's nothing more satisfying as a female, I don't think, than to have a ridiculously greasy head of hair and to shove it back in a bun. Like, I just love that. It doesn't look the best, I'm not gonna lie. But you just know your hair's getting like a fucking natural hair mask. That's really gross, I'm sure. That sounds really gross and it looks not great, I can't lie. But, <sighs> I really can't be asked to sort it out. I'm, I'm talking about like imposter syndrome and shit like that and like making imposter syndrome work. I'm just gonna like go with it. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like super important to lean into what you wanna do when the world is like one size fits all. It, the world tells you you haven't got time to, to do things that you wanna do. The world tells you you are wrong for doing certain things. The world tells you you must give all of your time to institutions and jobs and not keep much back for yourself. The world tells you the more you give, the better. The world tells you the more productive you are, the better. The world tells you, you know, all of these lies at the end of the day, and then people complain because they like are like deeply depressed and like. Not, I'm not saying that like you should be blamed for having mental health adverse experiences because God only knows I've been there. But it's like people complain because they hate their lives, and it's like, well, please lean into your desires, figure out what you want, honor that. Do you know what I mean? Because no one else is going to honor it, and many people will try and minimize it. You know. You have to honour what you want and figure out, figure that out. It's each person's individual like moral obligation to do this. So not being funny, no one's gonna like wanna care. Like unless you like have loved ones that actually wanna listen to you, but no one like really has respect for someone that puts themselves through the ringer all the time when they don't want to and then like doesn't isn't productive or has a completely adverse fucking attitude because they hate their lives. Like who's gonna change that mate? who's like the, the master of your life here, is it no one or is it you? Do you know what I mean? Can you like pick up the slack here and actually take responsibility for yourself, make the changes you want to do? Because I'm not being funny, I don't buy shit like, oh, you know, I understand if people go to uni for a long time and then they get into a job that they're like qualified for and they hate it, that's one thing. But also we all have, we all have the ability to like change your job if you, if you want to, like minimum wage has gone up. If you hate your job, have, get a job that you like and stop fucking moaning about it, make a change, you know, like, if you hate your partner, leave them, I'm not saying, like, abusive partners, like, you shouldn't, like, that should happen, and that, like, it's your fault, or anyone's fault, but, like, and that, like, it's not hard to leave an abusive partner, that's a little bit more complicated, I mean, it's quite a lot more complicated being in that situation, but, you know, people can make changes that benefit them, not to make it sound easy, because I know it's not always, but yes, desires are important. Your inner beliefs and your thoughts are important. Like if there's one sense to say like, if you're having a shit day and you're in the main doing what you need to be doing to like power through sometimes and, and sometimes people just feel a bit shit. But also if you're feeling shit, like your mind and your body is telling you something is wrong and something needs to be addressed. Even if it's just a mindset shift or if it's just like taking accountability for like how tired you are and shit. Like lean into that, you know. It's a need and it's a must. So please do. The end. Thanks for listening.